Good evening. Tomorrow evening, Pittsburgh stargazers might notice an unusual bright spot in the sky. It's not a comet or a shooting star, but instead two satellites which could collide directly above our heads. Megan Schiller talked to the Carnegie Science Center about the odds, and she joins us live to tell us what to look for. Megan. Susan, and to give you an idea of the size of these two satellites in space, one of them is small. It's about the size of your traditional trash can, about 10 pounds only. The other, the size of a small car, more than 2,000 pounds. Scientists say they're headed directly at each other, more than 10 times the speed of a bullet. All eyes will fixate on the skies Wednesday night. I mean, these are actual spaceships that could collide. I mean, sure, they're, they're unmanned and they've been actually not operational for a while. But Ralph Crew brought our cameras up on the roof at the Carnegie Science Center to talk about what this means for Pittsburghers on the ground. It's not guaranteed that it's going to collide, but if it does, any fragments that fall to Earth are going to hit the atmosphere at tremendous speed and burn up, much like a shooting star. In fact, if you do see anything, it will look like a uh, sort of a burst of shooting stars almost. A one in 100 chance, a big enough chance that a space debris tracking company out of California first tweeted about the crash course, even sharing this picture of one of the two old satellites. Leo Labs created this simulation to show the two overlapping tracks, one red and one green. The impact could happen some 560 miles above the tallest downtown building, a spectacle, but a safe enough distance away. Thankfully, it is relatively safe. Nobody on Earth will, has any chance of taking any damage from this. So it'll just be an amazing show in the sky. So again, the two will cross paths at this time tomorrow night around 6.30, 6.40 in the evening. And if the clouds part, which we realize doesn't usually happen here in Pittsburgh, they say you will be able to look up and see this happen with your regular eyes. You don't even need a telescope. Reporting live, Megan Schiller, KDK News.